crisis will happen. The biggest fiscal stimulus we have ever seen. And that'll solve the problem. Have you taken a large home loan? Or did you put your savings in stocks, mutual funds or bonds? If not, then you can relax. But all of us who did are living on borrowed time. This is the story of the greatest financial crisis of our time. The one that is on its way. I know many Americans have questions tonight. How did we reach this point in our economy? And what does this mean for your financial future? These are good questions, and they deserve clear answers. And they deserve clear answers. First, how did our Today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. Uh, my my old company, my whole comp my old company where I used to work, the whole company's missing. The story of the great financial crisis begins just like many of the stories of our era in the United States on September 11, 2001. The terrorists knew exactly what they were doing, striking at the ultimate symbol of the global economy. And they did it when the US was already slumping into a recession after the dot-com bubble had burst. Despite the tragic events of September the 11th, the foundations of our free society remained sound and I am confident that we will recover and prosper as we have in the past. In spring 2001, the Federal Reserve started lowering interest rates, and now it continued lowering rates to save companies on the brink and to keep unemployment down. During 2001, the interest rate was lowered from 6.5 to 1.75%. In 2003, it was cut all the way to 1%, and it remained there for a full year. 